at the end of the red gianty stuff, the star is shedding off huge amounts of its outer layers. So the, it's puffed up to this enormous red giant. It can't hold on to all that mass. It's and we are just, talking enormous here. Like these things are huge. Yeah, red giants are massive. Yeah, like out to sort of the Earth's orbit kind of thing. Yeah. 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 So massive stars, they can't hold on to it all. So they just sort of puff it off. And eventually uh, you're left with just the compact core, which is the remnant of what was used to be the bit that was sort of fusing hydrogen to helium. That's all been used up. So most stars will end up with a carbon-oxygen core that becomes the white dwarf star as right. its own entity. Right. So this isn't post sort of supernova or anything like no, that. There hasn't no. been a massive explosion. There's been puffing up to this sort of pufferfish style, huge red giant thing. And then just what, gradually losing all its outer layers? Or does that happen fairly quickly? Well, it depends on your view of quickly. In a few million years. <laughs> guess, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. 